Hello guys and welcome. I know it's been a few days since the uh, new trailer for Skyrim Dawnguard has come out. The first thing that I want to highlight is that we've known for a little while what sort of things can we expect in the new expansion for Skyrim. Uh, I think it was on the 30th of March 2012 we got a download through Steam uh, that had a whole bunch of files that was highlighted. A few of the things that were of note, there was the Snow Elf Prince dialogue, there were crossbows that were highlighted, there were also extra vampires animations and then there were some other things that we didn't quite know were under RF. Since the release of the video we have now been able to see a lot more things that you can expect to see. Here are some of the things that I noticed with the video. First of all we've got a new area which you is the vampire the fortress which you see straight away at the start of the, the video which is obviously going to be to one of the door. key areas around which this new expansion of the game will cycle around because as we move on we see that there's new characters particularly some kind of vampire lord. Also he talks about becoming one of us and then there's the transformation scene so it looks like you can get the chance to not only become a vampire because you can already become a vampire in Skyrim but it looks like we can become some kind of vampiric lord perhaps with additional powers looks a lot like I don't know if you've seen Underworld 2 when Marcus becomes a, a werewolf vampire hybrid he sort of looks like this creature the other thing that we notice is that victims don't require to be asleep for you to suck their blood from them I always thought that you shouldn't be able to just wait for them to sleep obviously it's convenient but as a vampire you, you are more strong generally than the average person. The other thing is that there seems to be another realm, an underworld or a darker world, or perhaps it runs in parallel with the real world, a little bit like Soul Reaver. There's another fortress which looks particularly large, which is obviously the fortress of the good guys, the Dawn Guard, the guys who are in adversary with the uh, vampires, which obviously looks like there'll be a new faction known as Dawn Guard. There's a new weapon which we've already covered, we've known about this since March, April time, and that's the crossbow, but has been confirmed obviously with this trailer. One thing that I did notice is that the crossbow seems to be come across as some kind of uh, anti-vampire weapon and I don't know if it is something to do with the uh, Dawn Guard symbol, if it is an exclusive weapon that comes from the Dawn Guard faction itself because all of the wielders seem to be human and none of them are vampires. Another thing that I've noticed is that it, actually it seems a rather small thing but uh, if you look at this bow here you'll notice that it's nothing like any of the bows that we've seen so far in the game. At least I haven't fact seen one like this so I don't know if that means that along with other things we'll get different types of weapons and you presuming that we're going to get different weapons just along with everything else. I suppose it's not really massive but it's just a little point. Another thing that I noticed is that there seems to be a scene where a vampire gets shot in the chest with a crossbow but it's broad daylight it's clearly broad daylight so I'm presuming that vampires have some sort of ability to survive outside I don't know if that is true or even if it is a vampire it just the enemy has the appearance of a vampire and I've tried to look see its facial features it seems to be one it's a bit of speculation but I'm just presuming that that's the case uh, the other thing is that we've got some kind of giant frost troll or something like that but it doesn't look like anything that I've seen or that any of us have seen play in the game if you look particularly at its teeth it's like a, some sort of giant crossed with a frost troll or something like that but it doesn't look like anything and it seems to have horns as well the other thing that I noticed was that there's some sort of bat transformation I don't know if it's a skill or a perk or if it's just an ability that NPCs get or enemy vampires get or whether or not it could be something that the character your, your character the Dovahkiin can get itself if they become a vampire but either way it, it either looks like it would be a very cool ability to have yourself or a very challenging ability for an enemy to have to turn into bats and just fly away We've known about mounted combat for a little while, but the video gives a nice little treat as to how it so, sort of work. We can see that this guy <laughs> running down here will hack the people to death. Oh dear. Right, moving on. Also, I don't know if it's a different type of horse. It appears to be the horse, and it seems to be some kind of underworld horse. I don't know if you've also noticed that the scenery in the background looks very underworld-like, so I'm presuming that this might be a special mount. Whether or not it can survive in both the normal world and this sort of underworld realm, I don't know. But it might give Shadowmare a run for his money. Uh, moving on, dragons generally tend to have a very sort of straightforward animation sequence. That being to sort of fly around, breathe fire, get onto the ground, 
bite people a little bit, breathe fire, you jump up and fly. But it looks like they're getting a little bit more involved with this. I don't know if this is a scripted animation or if this is actually just a new ability that they'll have that they can be able to use at any time. So we'll have to see about that. But it seems like, I mean, obviously you can see that this dragon dives into the, through ice and into water. And I'm presuming that means they can swim as well. Uh, the other thing is that it showed this scroll at the same time as saying Elder Scrolls. And I think that means that the Elder Scrolls will be in the game. And it's and also make mention of the Elder Scrolls being part of the game itself. It looks like you can actually perhaps even read them, so I wonder if we can use the Elder Scrolls themselves in this uh, expansion pack to do things, perhaps cast very special abilities. There is a sequence in the video where the map sort of seems to meld and, and warp. I don't know if this is an indication of traveling in the alternate realm, but if you look, it's got the strange symbols that you can see on the Elder Scrolls. So I don't know if the Elder Scrolls give the ability to warp into different places or to travel between realms or something like that. I'm not sure, but it seems this is going to be something of importance in the game. Perhaps it lets you go to places where you couldn't or ordinarily go, perhaps it reveals places that are sort of hidden, because they do mention about finding the fortress, so I'm presuming that means that there's something significant about that. The other thing is that towards the end of it they talk about blotting out the sun, I'm presuming that if you're a vampire that you'll want to blot out the sun and then I'm presuming that from the rest of the point after you've completed the DLC that the game will be completely in the dark. So that's what I've noticed from the video and from the bits and pieces of information that we've had access to since the new patches and things have come through. I'm pretty sure that it'll be a lot more stuff coming out and a lot more uh, information to be released they'll be teasing us right left and center <laughs> until they release it uh, i hope this has been informative at least a little bit to you and i hope that it's pointed out a few things that you might not have noticed yourself i know there's probably some things that i might not have noticed and if the, if that's the case just let me know I'll write it in the comments when there's more stuff to come i'll bring it to your attention and i'll let you know about that so uh, until then guys thank you very much for your time very much for your audience and uh, stay safe take care of yourself Bye-bye.